Harry, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to my end of the month haul for my pickups for horror DVDs and Blu-rays for the month of November. Uh, so I took some time off after doing the 31 Days of Horror. Had to take a little break, you know. Need to relax. <laughs> uh, I did my horror collection toy update, but I do want to show off one collectible I got quickly before I get into the haul. Because I just got this last night. I thought this was pretty badass. It's a glow-in-the-dark green slime figure from Amok Toy Time. Uh, the tentacles bend out a little bit. They're not as flexible as I wanted, but you know what? They're pretty cool and they're badass. This sucker does glow in the dark. And uh, there's a painted version coming out soon. So I can't wait to get my pits on that one. Uh, the claws... Uh, everything else is pretty much standstill, but these are the ones that move. So that's pretty cool. So I want to show off a quick little collectible. It does glow in the dark pretty cool, too. So I thought that was neat. So let's get out to what we all came to see is the collection update. Go a little slower, so I might get this in two parts. I always seem to rush at the end. I'm like trying to get them out quick, and I'm short-winded, and I'm like, here, here you go, here you go. <laughs> so this time, if I get in two parts, awesome. So without further ado, let's get into the, the haul. Got a lot, of, a lot of box sets this month too, which is surprising. All right, for the first one I picked up is called The 27 Club. Uh, this was a Blu-ray DVD and CD soundtrack combo. I found it on Amazon for pretty cheap. The trailer looked pretty interesting. It has to deal with, you know, the actors and act the music band pretty much that once you hit 27... You die. There was a whole like curse thing, so they make a deal with a devil or something. So if anybody's seen this one, I'd like to hear your thoughts on the Twenty Seven Club. Another cheap one that I picked up called Twenty Three Fifty Nine. Uh, I guess it's a war ghost story. I got this was cheap on Amazon for a couple bucks, so I figured, what the hell, why not? The synopsis sounded interesting, so it's another blind buy. Again, so if anybody has heard of 2359, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. Next up, we have, um, at first, this one out of print. I never got a chance to grab it, so I was kicking myself. Arrow usually puts out, after they put out a box set, they put out the solo releases. And I kind of held off on that. I don't know why, but I did. But now, they re-released Volume 1 of American Horror Project. This has... Um, uh, let's see, it has uh, Carnival of Blood, The Witch That Came From the Sea, and Premonition. Now, it's not the ultra-thick box one, so it has some special features. So, yeah, it's not the insane wall of text, but it's got the movies that I wanted. Um, so, yeah, now I finally can say I finally own American Horror Project Volume 1. It's not in the big-ass box, but you know what? I'll take it for what it is. So I decided, you know what, fuck it. If I'm grabbing part one, I'm grabbing part two. And this ha happened to be a lot cheaper on Amazon. And it's the big, thick brick box set that Arrow makes. Uh, this one has um, The Child, Dark August, and Dream and Evil. Yeah. So this one is part two of the American Horror Project of the Arrow set. So, figured if I grab in part one, might as well grab part two with the big box set. These are still available, and I think they're still like 40 bucks, which is an awesome deal for three Arrow movies on Blu-ray. I don't know if it was a mistake, but I said, screw it, I am buying it. Next we have is Antebellum. Uh, blind Buy, I've heard mixes on this movie, so I'll give it a watch and find out down the road. If you've seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. Uh, next we have from Retro Media, we have Bela Lugosi in The Ape Man and Doomed to Die. So this is like one of their Retro Media releases, all on uh, one disc. So uh, Fred Olin Ray released this. Uh, you can get this on Amazon, so yeah. Uh, next we have is a slasher called Aqua Slash. I watched it. It's okay. It just pretty much is a build-up to one big kill near the end with the water slide. 
I uh, get a couple kills in the beginning, and then pretty much a lot of the kills are very off screen to they're just bodies laying around. I'm like, what happened? It could have been better. I wanted more from it. I wanted to see more of the kills. But it all has to deal with the uh, the water slide of Doom, pretty much. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Aqua Slash. It was okay. Next off we have is from uh, Stinky Tuna. They put out their Blu-rays, kind of like a bootleg. But I had to grab it. That's the Babysitter uh, Killer Queen. This is the sequel to the Babysitter. I like this. I thought it was funny. I liked the kills. Uh, and a lot of people didn't really like this one as much, but I had fun with it. So I definitely wanted to buy it. I want a copy. Uh, next, I found at Soundgarden. And the Blu ray's out of print, so I figured I'll grab the DVD for a couple bucks. Bad Biology. This is another uh, Frank Henenlotter film. You know, he did The Basket Cases, um, he did uh, Frankenhooker, uh, Brain Damage. So this is one I did not own. I've heard very interesting things about this movie. Pretty much killer genitalia. It has a cool little clear slip. So, again, the Blu-ray was out of print, so I just figured I'll grab that for now. Next, another box set. I probably won't put it in the horror collection. I'll put it in the others. But I did grab is the Beetlejuice collection of the animated movie, animated cartoon series. It's on... Um, Separate discs from Shell Factory. Again, it was like 25 bucks. I love Beetlejuice, so I figured I'm grabbing the Beetlejuice uh, cartoons. I'll put that over there for now. Next we have... From SRS Cinema. Uh, Blood Rites of the Vampire. So, I don't know if this is like a shot on video. Uh, vampire flick. Probably is. But... If anybody's seen, I'd like to hear your thoughts. I guess this sold out pretty quickly, too, on their website. I guess it's a rare film. I don't know. Maybe there's still some copies. Um, if anybody knows, I'd like to hear your thoughts on that. I did get a single uh, release copy of this because I do like this movie. I've had it on a, uh, a, a multi-pack, but I wanted a single release. Uh, Blood Predator. <laughs> this is a funny, cheesy uh, creature feature where the creatures are all these CGI'd. Spider-looking creature monster aliens, and <clears throat> it's one of those goofy Turner Brain Off films. This is also a midnight releasing flick. I think it's done with brain damage. So yeah, Blood Predator. It's a fun little cheesy flick. Uh, another upgrade we have is The Breed. Uh, this is a killer dog flick. Another woman gets bit by a dog, and she starts turning feral. So I got this cool little storyline. I liked it. So I liked enough to upgrade. <laughs> From uh, Wild Eye, got a couple of Wild Eye movies. I don't get many of them, but I figured what the hell, why not? Just by the titles alone. Uh, the first one we have is Cicada. <laughs> uh, killer Cicada Bugs. Why not? I love my killer bug movies. I watched the trailer of this. I laughed my ass off. So I figured this looks so dumb. It looks fun. So yeah, give that one a watch. Cicada. And that one I got is called uh, Creature Cabin. Uh, again, I watched the trailer. It looks like an Evil Dead ripoff with more goofiness and weird shit happening. So I figured, all right, <laughs> I'll give it a shot. And the cover art looks pretty cool, too, that weird cabin. All right, next is another box set. And I got to take out the plastic. I got myself a copy of the big Dawn of the Dead uh, box set. This is the Blu-ray set. I don't have a 4K player. I don't have a 4K TV. I'm very happy with Blu-ray. And I got this edition. This is the uh, <clears throat> Region 2 insane 3-disc box set. There are a bunch of videos for unboxing videos, so I'm not going to do an unboxing of this. And right now it's still sealed, which i got to open it up. But it's got multiple cuts of the film and a ton of um, features. Uh, sorry for the glare there, but yeah, this, the thing of beauty, this sold out pretty quick, and there was also issues with overseas because of fucking COVID. We didn't know if certain companies were getting them or not. I got mine through uh, Diabolic DVD, and they got theirs shipped out. So thank you, Diabolic. And I'm glad they got them in, and people have been already enjoying Dawn of the Dead. Classic Romero flick for sure. I'll put that there. 
Next we have is, um, I had the first one, I never knew it was a sequel, called The Dead 2. It's similar to the first movie, but it takes place in a different location. So another zombie flick. Uh, what I got from Soundgarden Cheap, uh, Dead Ringers from uh, David Cronenberg's, another Screen Factory release. Figured why not. Got a slip and everything, so I figured I'll grab it for the cheapness. Uh, Death of Me. This looked interesting. The trailer kind of reminded me of um, Serpent in a Rainbow type style with uh, black magic and everything. So we'll give this one a watch and see how this one is. If everybody's seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts. <clears throat> uh, Criterion had their sale in November for 50%, so I picked up, I think, one Criterion. But that's uh, The Devil's Backbone. I didn't own it. Actually, I had it on DVD. And I had it on DVD, and somehow I think I had someone borrow it, and of course it never came back. <sighs> you know how that goes. So I figured I'm buying the Blu-ray, and definitely upgrading. Had to have Devil's Backbone in the collection. The Another uh, SRS Cinema film. I think this is still available on their site, called Deadly Delivery. About like a pizza delivery guy going on killing people, so why not? This sounded pretty cool. Uh, if anybody's seen it, I'd like to hear your thoughts, but just the artwork was pretty cool. Deadly delivery. Where your pizza's wrong, and you're dead. All right. Uh, another, uh, this is a documentary from 3B Video called Direct to Video. Uh, this has been to deal with uh, horror films, I think, from the 90s getting that direct video experience. So I can't wait to give this one a watch. It's got a bunch of cool creature features. Among others, you know how 90s had their direct-to-video movies. Just You go to the video store. For those who went, we went to video stores and looking around on the VHSs and DVDs, and there were a lot of weird movies that just randomly sh popped up on the video shelf, and you're like, what is that? Pick it up, look at it, and you're like, fuck, I'll watch that, and you'll love it. So yeah, this happens to be a documentary on that, I guess. So, direct to video. Okay. Uh, another box set uh, from Sh Tokyo Shock. I actually had the first one. Never knew, I knew it was a trilogy, so I never bothered getting the rest because they were expensive. Happened to go on eBay, and I found the whole set for 20 bucks, which shocked the hell out of me. And that is the Eco, Eco uh, Azaric collection. This has all three of the films. All three of the Eco Eco Azaric uh, films. You have Wizard of Darkness, Birth of the Wizard, and Misa the Dark Angel. So it's like a Asian horror uh, fantasy type films. So figure for 20 bucks I'm getting the whole set because if you get them separately it's probably going to cost you a lot more to get them separately. So I grabbed the box set and I actually won and I shocked the hell out of me. So now I have the complete set of the Eco Azaric collection. Uh, next up, we have an upgrade from another retro media. We have the Evil Spawn. This is also, it comes with the, uh, what's the other one called? Uh, it's up there somewhere. Where is it? And I have it upgrading because I have the, the DVD itself. Oh, The Alien Within. So The Alien Within is actually a different cut of the film. It's, they're both on here. So you have The Evil Spawn and Alien Within uh, special, which I thought was great. And there it is right there. Bonus second creature feature, Alien Within. Yep. <clears throat> so yeah, if you're familiar with this movie, it's very cheesy. Uh, Fred Olsen Ray with his retro media had issues with this putting this out through Amazon. So he put them on eBay. And uh, I think they were going pretty quick. I know he's working on his own website. So I figured I'm grabbing this now because this will be a great upgrade. So yeah, uh, The Evil Spawn and The Alien Within. Now if I remember, The Alien Within is a longer cut, more uh, more going on. But, yep, gotta love it, from 87. Uh, next up, from... Kino Lauber, double feature of Fear No Evil 
and Ritual of Evil, uh, made for TV movies from 69 and I think 1970. That stars uh, the guy, the bad guy from Octopussy, uh, Louis Jordan. He plays a, uh, a psychiatrist who dabbles in occult stuff. So the first one did well, I guess, on TV. The second one didn't do so well, so they never made a third. I wish they did because the series is, these two are pretty good. <coughs> and I found out that um, Ritual of Evil was going to spawn a TV show, but they decided to hold off. And we got Night Gallery instead. So that's how Night Gallery came out. So I thought that was kind of cool. But I wish they did more with these. But a great double feature of these two TV movies. Fun and very entertaining. Alright. Another uh, insane box set. From Arrow. This is He Came From The Swamp. The William... Uh, excuse me. Crete Collection. Another big box set. Uh, this has movies in double. You have uh, Whiskey Mountain. Uh, they came from the swamp. I think it's like his documentary. Uh, the Naked Zoo. And Mako Jaws of Death, which is an upgrade for me. Uh, Hooked Generation. The Psychedelic Priest. And The Sting of Death and Death of Death Curse of Tartu. Which I actually had that on a, uh, a Something Weird DVD. Those two movies. So that's an upgrade here. So, again, I have the card over here. This is the card of the box set. So there's the movies, and you got a bunch of different features, uh, the different artwork. So, yeah. You know how Arrow likes to put out their big box set and stuff. So this I can't wait to dive into. I'm familiar with several, several of his films. So I'm glad they did a cool collection of him. So he came from the Swamp Awesome Arrow box set. All right. Next up from uh, Scream Factory, uh, How to Make a Monster. And I was very glad to get this. It was weird because <laughs> when I bought it, the cover looked weird. I had to change the, the artwork. It smelled like Chinese food. I don't know why. It just, when I picked it up, it had a weird smell. And it kind of freaked me out a little bit. So I'm like, you know what, let me just wipe it down. It was all sealed. So I don't know if someone on Amazon spilled their Chinese food, but I ended up getting a Chinese food smelling how to make a monster. Don't ask, I don't know. Uh, next up from uh, SRS Cinema, another one of their kaiju releases. The artwork is fucking cool. And it's called Howl from Beyond the Fog. Now, this one is a kaiju-type film, but it's done with uh, puppetry and um, done with... Uh, what, I forgot the name of the puppets, how they do it. Um, Mary, Mariotti puppets, I think. So it looks really cool. The monster itself looks badass. That looks freaky as hell, and I can't wait to dive into this one. So Howl from Beyond the Fog looks like a cool another kaiju-esque flick to add to the collection yeah and last of the box sets uh, i did get from ronin figured why not um upgrade the dvd at least and i didn't own the the other one and that's the i spit on your grave box set now this one has i spit on your grave the original i spit on your grave deja vu and Growing up with I Spit on Your Grave, like a documentary. So it doesn't have the remakes. It doesn't have any of those, but it has a lot of cool features. I got another thick, hard box, which is great. It's very protective, and it comes with the book in there as well. So yeah, from Ronin, I figured I'm grabbing that. That's pretty cool. I'm not a big fan of the remakes, so I figured, nah, just having this alone with the original on Blu-ray was pretty cool. I heard the transfer is pretty much close to the same as the original Blu-ray. Maybe. Not sure, but it's got the cool special features and the documentary. I'll do that. So yeah, I Spit on Your Grave, box set. Uh, who would have thought that that got a box set? Alright, and uh, yeah, I'll stop there for now. I'll do the rest because I'm running out of time. I can only record X amount of video with my phone because it says I... I don't know. It's weird. So I'm going to stop here and upload that one. And I'll get on to part two of my update. So I can take my time, 
talk about the films and not rush because I would have had to rush to this big stack and it took forever. All right, guys, thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed part one. Let me know your thoughts on the videos, uh, the movies I've shown so far. And uh, I'd like to see you like and subscribe if you haven't. And have yourself a good day. Stay tuned for part two, guys. Peace.